More evacuations in Midwest as floodwaters head downstream. Slideshow by Photo Services. ST. Lewis AP, heavy rainfall and snowmelt have led to dangerously high water in creeks and rivers across several Midwestern states, with the Missouri River hitting record high levels in many areas. At least two deaths, while river depths were starting to level off in parts of Nebraska on Sunday, the water is so high in many places that serious flooding is expected to remain for several days. And downstream in Iowa, the Missouri River reached 30.2 feet 9.2 meters Sunday in Fremont County in the state's far southwestern corner, 2 feet 0.6 meter above the record set in 2011. People in the towns of County Emergency Management Director Mike Cresselius said it wasn't just the amount of the water, it was the swiftness of the current that created a danger. This Thurman has about 200 residents. About 50 people in Nebraska, the Missouri River flooded off at Air Force Base, with about one-third of it underwater on Sunday. Spokeswoman Tech, hundreds of people remained out of their homes in Nebraska, where floodwaters reached record levels at 17 locations. The Nebraska emerged in hard hit Sarpy County, Nebraska, up to 500 homes have been damaged, including some cabins along a lake, said Greg London of the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office. The damage followed, London said many of the damaged homes are wet up to the roof line and likely ruined. This Nearly 300 people have been rescued from high water across the state. At least two people have died in the floodwaters. Alado Rojas get two men remain missing. A Norfolk man was downstream in street. Joseph, Mid flooding was causing problems for passenger train service between Kansas City, Missouri, and Street. Lewis. The rising Mississippi River also was creating concern. The Mississippi was flooding has also been reported in Minnesota, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. In Green Bay, AP reporter Jeff Bainan in Minneapolis contributed to this report. Search for location slash city.